Hello everybody, welcome back to Rick Tick TV, and today we are debuting a new segment called Story Time, where I and other members of the family will tell funny stories from the past. This will be different from Story Time with Mom. Mom will have her own thing that she will do all the time because she has different stories from when we're kids and even other ones than that. So, today I've got three quick stories for you. First was the time I had I pulled a staple out of my chest. I had an ex-girlfriend staying at my house for the weekend and one of my chairs was broken that I had in my house but I was still using it because I was too damn stubborn to throw it away like the back of it broke off and the arm broke off so we were finally throwing it away and I ripped the two arms off and I broke the back fully off the bottom of it so it was in four pieces well I stacked them up and I was carrying them outside and I was about to throw it in the dumpster and my hand slipped and the piece of it fell and hit me right in the chest. I felt a little sharp pain, nothing else, finished throwing it away, looked down at my shirt, and I had a little tiny black dot on my chest. I'm like, okay, just whatever, probably just dirt. Walk back inside, get in the house, and I lift, take my shirt off, and I look, and there's a, like a black dot still. I'm like, all right, probably a splinter, I'll just pull it out, and we'll be good. Well, I scratch at it a little bit, and it's exposed probably a quarter of an inch off my chest, and I see it's a piece of metal. I'm like, alrighty then, we'll figure that out. I start pulling it out, and it's out maybe an inch. And my current and my girlfriend at the time was looking at me like, oh my god, you have a piece of metal in your chest, so we gotta take you to the hospital. I'm like, fuck that, I'll be fine. And I keep pulling it out, and it's out about three quarters of an inch, and then it's kinked. Because the staple, it was like, turned in there, like it normally would be. So I had to bend it in my chest and pull it out the rest of the way. And I look up at her when I'm done, and she is white as a ghost and about to pass out. She's like, you, you, you just you just pulled a piece of metal out of your body, and you didn't even flinch. I'm like, yeah, it's, it happens. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, then I just went on with my day. It was business as usual. Uh, story number two is I was on my last day at my first cheese factory. And I was arguing with someone about pineapples on pizza because that stuff is bullshit. And he was like, you know, David, pineapples do go on pizza. And I get up, I stood up, I got right in his face and I screamed at him. And it was, I went for shock value. I was like, damn it, pineapples do not go on pizza and I will suck your dick. <laughs> That's what I went with there. And he was like, and that man, he cried he was laughing so hard i have never actually seen a person cry fully from laughter but he had tears running down his face and he was he left he stopped working and walked off and told a bunch of people what i said and they were all coming in laughing their ass off and it was a good time and i got one more story for y'all and it was one of those times i was hanging out with fred we watched every wrestling pay-per-view together and we this one was in the summer when it was really, really hot. So he was wearing nothing but just a shorts. And uh, this was back when I, and one of my ex-girlfriends was like, oh, send me a picture of what you're doing. And Fred went like this with his, and he twisted both of his nipples. He was like, ah! And I took a picture of him like that. And I sent it to her and she started laughing. And I saved that picture and I made it my screensaver on my phone. And at my graduation party, my I was like, Carol, my phone's ringing. Can you answer it for me? And she looks at it. All she sees is on the when she turned it on was this man twisting his nipples in a screaming fashion, and then his face was screaming on the camera. And it was so fucking funny to watch her. And she was like, and then she looks up and sees Fred because he was at my graduation party, and was like, wait a fucking minute. And he's like, yeah, that's me. Oh my god, but just the picture of him. I, I was going through my old phone yesterday, and I saw that. And it was and it made me laugh just as hard as it did back in that day. It was such a good picture. Well, this has been the first ever edition of Storytime. Uh, please let me know down in the comments what you think, and we're going to definitely try and make this one a consistent thing. I've been David Richtick of Richtick TV, and I'll see you in the next episode.